Okay, if it's gonna go, it better go quick. Now it needs to get all the way over. Come on, you can do this. Come on, go, 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 yes. Taking it really wide. Okay, now coming back in. That was very well done. Very natural, nice and smooth. <laughs> oh, rolled that stop. And the car is stopping. Oh, okay, car is stopping for these people. Oops. Oh my goodness. Once again, very awkward. No cars around. Took a long time turning right there. Going very slow here. Need a lot of patience to use this. All right, so 15 minutes ago, an update just came in. I'm gonna check it out. So right around 6.35 p.m., this update came in. I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes, and I'm gonna install it. I think this is 10.6.1. So I just powered it back on here. We're gonna go into the software section, and there it is, 10.6.1. Okay, so nothing new here. All right, here we go. This is the true test. We're going to see how 10.6.1 behaves. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. We have a short little trip dialed in here. It's just out and about and around and back. So it uh, should be a quick test, but we'll hopefully be able to see if it has improved on a couple intersections here. So there's not a lot of traffic. It is 7.41 p.m. I was able to grab a quick bite, bite to eat in the time that it was downloading and installing. So now we're going to turn right here. And as you can see, the, the turn signal turns on. And coming up to the red stop light. Now we're gonna see here if it actually tries to go forward. It says here, it's giving me a message about my regenerative braking being temporarily reduced. So now somebody is coming up behind me. Someone is right behind me. It is not attempting to go right on red here. So I'm just gonna nudge it forward just a tiny bit. Encourage it to go. Okay, now it could, could go there, but okay, it's choosing to go. And I had to accelerate it through, accelerate through for it because there was a car coming behind me. It still has not solved that right turn. It it really should not have turned out, or if it did, it should have gone a lot more aggressively. So that's a challenge that I always face: is do I intercept and push forward to be polite? or do I let it kind of go out very slowly and make the other person slow down? And in any given situation, I choose not to get honked at. So I am going to intervene and help the car. So it's just appropriate, it's the appropriate, the right thing to do. Okay, so we're at the stoplight here. Okay, and that's green. Now, this is coming up this intersection here, Higgins and Golf, it always gets this wrong. It needs to get in the right turn lane right about now. Yes, okay, that could be luck, I'm not sure. I jumped to a conclusion when I got 10.5 thinking they had solved this intersection. But this is, that's the one, so the first time I get the, the new beta release, it seems to do this intersection perfectly. And then every time thereafter, it will screw it up. So we're gonna test it again tomorrow morning and see how it does right there for that right turn. But today beautiful no issues okay there was a little bit of brake involved there there it's i think it saw that other car kind of freaked out a little bit and it sees this green light okay it's turning on its uh full beam lights there even though there was oncoming traffic not a good thing i've had some people flash their brights right back at me and we are going 50 and a 45 right now Slowing down just a little bit. I liked that. It just touched on the brakes a tiny bit before going through that green light. Showing some caution. And now it needs to get in the right lane here. Okay, good. And the right turn signal still hasn't turned on. There we go, very late. It's still an issue I'm noticing. All right, there is nobody behind us. We can go right on red here. Okay, then it turns green. And the car accelerating really nicely through that turn. Now it needs to get in the far left lane. Okay, there we go, changing lanes. One, you need to change lanes here again. Okay, starting it here a little bit late, but actually pulls it off. Okay, nice. So we're here at this intersection. Now waiting for this light to turn green and then we're gonna turn left. Now, 
this left shouldn't be too difficult for the car. Okay. All right, right here. Turning in, needs to slow down. Okay, slowing down quite abruptly. It's very dark, hard for me to even see the, the turn here. Okay, pulling forward, quite a bit of oncoming traffic. Makes me nervous here. Okay, if it's gonna go, it better go quick. Okay, it did do it just fine there. Made me nervous, but it did pull that off. So here we are coming up to our destination and I'm gonna dial in the second destination. All right, so as you can see, I've got a bit of a tricky path here. It's gonna to have to turn right onto this big road here onto Roselle Road and then turn left uh, fairly quickly. So that's gonna to have to, it's gonna to have to turn right and then immediately get into the left turn lanes. I'm curious to see how it executes here on this. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. Autopilot creeping forward, checking for visibility. All right, there we go. Took a little while on that one, but it did pull it off. Autopilot creeping forward, checking for visibility. It is clear, wide open, no cars on this road right now. It's taking a long time, all right. Now it needs to get all the way over. Come on, you can do this. Come on, go, 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 yes. Change lanes, come on, you got this, come on. Oh my gosh, what's going on, come on. Oh dear, okay. Now it's just gonna sit here, you're kidding me. Okay, this is not the turn lane. Okay, I have to cancel. That was not the turn lane, it got that wrong. All right, so here we are, Roselle and Higgins. This is a wide left turn. We need to go all the way out there. So the lines, there's some dotted lines and it shows up very clearly here on the screen. And the tentacle, which is the prediction path, is pointing in the right direction. So I have pretty high confidence it's gonna pull this off well, just because the lines are marked so well. But I'm gonna be ready to take over at a moment's notice. There is a van on the left side of me, as you can see. And that is the number one uh, vehicle that I need to pay attention to as I go through this turn. So here we go. Accelerating forward. Taking it really wide. Okay, now coming back in. All right, that did fair enough. It's a little bit wide. Now we have someone here behind us. It's speeding up and changing lanes. So we are, are now in front of that person, but we're going a little bit faster than them, so that was completely reasonable for the car to have done. And now immediately coming into this left turn lane, I think that was pretty well executed if you ask me. Nobody behind us. Oh, there is somebody behind us. All right. That was very well done. Very natural, nice and smooth. No issues on that turn. And braking ever so slightly for that car there. That was nice. And coming through this dark road, there's no street lights here. And here comes a car. Okay, should really slow down. Okay, well done. Went through there at a steady speed. Okay, there now the full beam lights come on. Okay, and there's a vehicle coming. It really needs to turn them off. Okay, just now it did. That was decent enough. Coming up here. Okay, and turning right. And in front of me is a Model Y, looks like. Okay, so it is okay to go. And we're just very patiently waiting. Okay, so that car went, so now definitely our turn. Okay, that was nicely done. Coming up here now, we're gonna turn left. 
is a four-way stop. You can see here how it handles it. There's no other vehicles in the other three intersections here. <laughs> oh, rolled that stop. Wow. Oh, got to love it. I don't know why it did that. Okay, turn off your brights. All right, hopefully that guy doesn't get mad at me. Okay, phew. Yeah, sometimes those full beam lights, I mean, you can turn them off and I should get in the habit of doing that. Uh, but it's, it's certainly very uh, hard to control sometimes. Okay, so we are here at the final destination. I'm gonna cancel here. And, whoops, there's someone coming up right behind me. I didn't even see them. I'm just gonna get out of their way. Okay, and we're gonna continue on our path here. There's a person on the road right now. And the car is stopping. Oh, okay, car is stopping for these people. Oops. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, it, it went and it really should not have done that. That person was, he, he knew that I saw him, but the car did something very awkward there. I'm confident it wouldn't have hit him, but it gave him that false sense of security that, hey, is he going to drive and, and drive into me or what's going to happen here? So that was really awkward and actually brought my adrenaline up. I, I almost didn't know if I should take over or not. So I did not take over. I did not do anything there to intercede. Okay, going forward here. Nobody, that was a little bit awkward in that intersection as well. Okay, and coming up here, turning right. Once again, very awkward, no cars around. Took a long time turning right there. Okay, there are no vehicles. Well, now one comes. Okay. Ah, it did the right thing there. Now here comes another car. This is a tricky one, actually. So now it needs to go, and it should go quickly. It's going very slowly, <laughs> but okay, whatever. All right, so. It is dialed in for 30 miles per hour. See, they're on right now, so I'm just gonna turn them off by pushing forward. Oh no, they were already off. So I was just gonna demonstrate how you could turn off the full beam lights, the high beam. So, I, excuse me, I think I, I kept saying full beam, I meant high beam. Okay, so we are going left and then a quick right and it's, going very slow here okay and then turning right here all right autopilot creeping forward checking for visibility very slow here okay and coming up here, turning right. There's nobody around here really taking extra caution for really nothing, but it has to account for the unknown in any given situation. So I'm not criticizing. Okay, and then the left here. Okay, nicely done, that was smooth. And then coming up here, we're gonna turn left. Okay, going really slow. Now there's a car coming. Now it should definitely not go. And we're kind of hanging out in the side of this road. As you can see, the position on the road is a little bit awkward right now. Now it needs to go. It's going really slow. Nobody behind us. Need a lot of patience to use this. In a normal, in a normal situation, if there was a lot more traffic, that would have been completely unacceptable. It went way too slow there. Okay, coming up here, we've got a really tight turn. Autopilot 
without full self-driving, never was able to handle this. But with full self-driving beta, it handles it beautifully. So watch, you'll see here, I don't even need to dial the speed down. It notices the curve, slows down very naturally, goes through that very nicely, no issues there, and right into the left turn lane, all very, very smooth. And we do have this van in front of us, okay. Car handled that very nicely. So that completes our tests here today. So thanks a lot everybody for tuning in and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.